But we are not willing to compromise on the core principle, or one of the core principles of European security, that all countries have the right to choose their own path. And, and for me, it's interesting to, 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 to note that, for instance, countries like Finland and Sweden, who have not applied for membership in NATO, they are very clear about this, before, because they understand that as soon as you start to impose that kind of restrictions, that the right to choose your own path applies for some countries, but not for all countries, then you start into some kind of first-class and second-class countries. Some have the right because they are big or because they, for historical reasons, are part of a military alliance as NATO to do uh, what they want to choose their own path, but others don't have that right. And this whole idea that, in a way, you are close to me so you cannot do what you want, is to reintroduce the thinking of spheres of influence. And especially those who are coming from small countries, neighboring Russia, should understand that that's a very dangerous path. And, that, and, and that's, all, that's also the reason why, for instance, the, the Finnish president, in a country that is not applying for membership, used his New Year speech to underline the importance of that principle. And we have to distinguish between the principle uh, the, the international rule of law and the concrete issue of whether Ukraine should join or not in the near, 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 near future. That's an other, other thing. Lithuania is increasing its military readiness in response to heightened tensions between Russia, NATO and Ukraine, the Baltic country's defense chief, Valdemiras Rupsis, said on Thursday. Looking from the military perspective, the threat of war in Europe is its highest since 1945, Rupsi said in a local TV interview. While observers are concerned that Russia may invade Ukraine, the lieutenant general warned that history has shown that military action may not be limited to just one country. General Rupsi's comments come two days after Lithuanian Defense Minister Arvidas Anisauskas said on Tuesday that the country would send military aid, including lethal and non-lethal weapons, to Ukraine. Rupsi's remarks also echoed a statement by Polish Foreign Minister Zbigniew Rao who said Europe is closer to war than it has been in decades. It seems that the risk of war in the OSCE area is now greater than ever before in the last 30 years, Rao said to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE, in Vienna. Local media also reported that Denmark has said it is sending additional F-16 fighter jets to the Baltic countries, as well as a Navy frigate. The Baltic nations are also in talks to increase NATO troop numbers deployed in the three countries in addition to the rotating battle groups in each of the three. Lithuania, a NATO member since 2004, has 20,565 active military personnel that can be mobilized in times of war or crisis.